So this is the solar panel. Super light. Bolts. Look at this. So, because of the hooks on this side, here, I can hang this on the side of the RV any which way I'd like. I don't need any special props to set this up. Just boom, it's up. I got three of these suckers, 120 watts a piece. Do the math, sucking in a good 350, 60 watts into the generator, power bank. From the sun, how much fuel am I gonna save? A shit ton. Oh, it's nighttime. Let me go take care of the solar panels, or it's snowing. Oh man, this is a lot of work. Done. So now, take all three of them. Look at this. Super light. No problem carrying them all in one hand. Three solar panels. Are you kidding me? Three of them. Two thousand watt hour with two thousand watts, you can run seventeen different things off of this thing. You get six little power ports plugs, USB connections. Boom, boom, more power. All car charging stuff. Plug right in here. <clears throat> charge the solar panels from here there's no noise this thing is silent so I plugged up TV DVD player I got this light on high you can see right here it's drawing 276 watts so you can take this number Divide it by 2,000. That is how long this will power the TV, DVD, and the light. Check it out. This is the noise level with the fan on. Super quiet. Think about this bad boy. Sitting by a campfire. You bring a TV, a projector, boom, movie time. Look, this thing's passively charging here. You can see 380's coming in, 276 is going out. So, just free electricity. For free, 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 free. This thing is amazing. These suckers are also wireless chargers. I just set my phone on there and boop, boop, charges. This is what it would look like if you had one solar panel. Hooked up. Very simple. These just pull right up. I'm going to be hooking up my fridge to this sucker when we're living in Maine. It's going to draw like 160 watts. So that means I'll be able to run that fridge for all 10, 15 hours. No problem. Now when you go camping, you're living off grids, or you're out in the woods, RV, what have you, you really can't use one of these. Oh. Oh. Let's see 
get go. We draw in 1300 watts. Not hot. Yeah. 1900 watts and it's still going strong. Shut it off. Now it's back to drawing its 276 watts from the TVD, TV DVD player in the light. This also means you can now brew coffee. Whoa. I can also make some toaster. This can handle a toaster. Hair dryer, are you kidding me? So, just the TV and the DVD player, it's pulling 96 watts, charging at 382. Ain't ever gonna run out of power at this rate. And then, if you take the 382 away, divide 100, so 96, by 2000. That's how long I'm going to be running my TV. <laughs> oh, wow. I could go on and on and on about this Blue Eddy and how friggin' awesome it is. Bottom line, you go camping out in your RV, middle of the woods, anywhere you want, and have hours and hours and hours of awesome energy. Power, and then you just can charge it from the sun. Anybody who wants to go off grid, be hidden and quiet. Hello, now you don't need the generator. You got the blue eddy. Nobody's gonna find you because you're silent. This thing is running. Amazing. Hear me? That's noisier than this Blue Eddy. Yeah, it's music to my ears. So if you're going to invest in something, I think it's best to invest in yourself and having 100% accessibility to power. If you got kids, loved ones, what are you going to do if your power goes out? You're going to fire up your generator? What if you live in an apartment building? You can't use it. But you can use the Blue Eddy to save your ass. Wait till you see all the fun stuff we're going to be doing. Subscribe. Later.